Hey everybody, it's Mike Frieder here with On-Call Compliance Solutions, and I'm back with another Compliance Tip of the Week. Today we're talking about NIST SP800171 Control 3.13.7. Prevent remote devices from simultaneously establishing non-remote connections with organizational systems and communicating via some other connection to resources in external networks, i.e. split tunneling. So, good news, bad news on this, and I think what's probably more important than the answer is actually explaining what on earth split tunneling is and why it's so dangerous. Let's take you, you're hanging out at a coffee shop. There you are drinking the Starbucks, multi-frappuccino, venti, tall, quad shot, I don't know, whatever, too much caffeine, not enough for me this afternoon. But there we are, we're in the coffee shop, we're hanging out, and we're connected to this coffee shop network. We hope it's secure, but maybe it's like, uh, you know, maybe it's an open network, I don't know. Uh, and maybe somebody in there is just hanging out, playing around with a little bit of, uh, you know, Kali Linux and, and having some fun with, uh, you know, a couple of hacking tools, right? Meanwhile, uh, you have an open file share on your local computer. Then you connect to uh, your company's VPN, and your company's VPN allows for internet on your machine to mix with internet on the company network. Now, with split tunneling, that creates a pretty nasty scenario because now the bad stuff that could be on the network uh, that you're sharing a connection with publicly could mix into the company corporate network that you're in through that VPN tunnel. And that's why split tunneling or basically using two sources of internet can be really dangerous. Now there's a lot of other more malicious attacks than what I just described that I'm not gonna really get into how that attack works and all that kind of fun stuff. But the idea is simple. If you're connected to the corporate network, the internet that you're using should be through and funneled through that company network because if you're accessing secure resources over there, you don't want to mix those secure resources and clean filter traffic through the firewall with unfiltered garbage uh, coming in from any kind of a publicly facing network or even again, just sort of a, a non-secured a non network, right? So again, split tunneling is bad stuff. Now here's the good news. The good news is how to solve for this is easy, right? It's nothing more than usually a checkbox or a radio button in your firewall. So we answer it by saying implemented split tunneling is turned off or disabled in the firewall. Split tunneling is just simply not allowed per IT policy. And that's, that's really as hard as that answer needs to be. But if you're an IT admin, go check your firewall, firewall right now. A lot of firewalls come with split tunneling turned on by default because it is a, a faster traffic path in theory. Uh, again, if you've got a more mature and enterprise grade firewall, it's probably gonna be turned off. And hey, if you're trying to figure out whether you're turned on or turned off, or you just wanna get compliant with DFARS, NIST SP800171, or CMMC on your own, and looking for help, our compliance experts are always on call for you. Visit NIST800171compliance.com or check out the bio below for links to make life easy. There you can find more information about how we can help self-schedule time at your convenience with one of our compliance experts through any form on the website or learn more about our completely done for you services that can have you on your way to being compliant in just two to three days. And if you love the content we're putting out for you or think there's just nothing wrong with split tunneling in general, help us out with a big thumbs up on that like button or even better, smash the subscribe button to get the latest compliance content as soon as our compliance nerds roll it out. It's a great way to stay prepared for that upcoming CMMC certification. Everybody's going to have to eventually get through it anyway. And we're just here to help or split tunnels with you. Until the next compliance tip, my friends, stay safe and secure out there and hit us in the comments below to let us know what you'd like to know more about when it comes to information security and compliance. I'll see you on the next one.